has the person taken time to reflect upon say the nature of of divinity if they are claiming to be something of a divine origin what what is their theology like um, what is their spirituality like? What is their religion like? If they have a religion, some of us are atheists, some of us are agnostics, some of us are, many of us are pagans, some of us are animists, some of us are Christians, some of us are Hindus, some of us, I, I've yet to meet a Muslim otherkin or a Therian. However, Muslims are welcome. I've met a couple Hindus, I've met a few Buddhists, I've met a lot of pagans, I've met a couple atheists. Um, it's, it's strange um, in that, yeah, I mean, when, you, when you're having a conversation with an atheist who identifies as a unicorn and who isn't a troll, no, the unicorn is not invisible or pink. <laughs> I mean, we we have belief systems that run the gamut. We have people, and this is great. I love it when people do this. We have people that make up their own religions and their own mythical systems. They just and they just have their personal mythos. I think that's great because what happens, what that means, is that the person is thinking. The wheels, the gears in their head, in their heads, are turning, turning. Yay! And, you know, so you can probably get a lot of psychological gratification from making a personal mythos and putting yourself into that mythos. Only The only thing is, if, if you are, for, for example, a hero within your own mythos, so what does it mean to be heroic? Are, are, are you doing this because you feel like a zero in your own life? Or are you actually... Or are, actu are you actually working to embody what you f what you feel a, a true hero is? For example, so even people with big claims, I don't reject out of hand. What I do is I look and ask questions and talk and discuss things and bad ideas around, and I see if the person is really thinking and really introspecting. And <clears throat> and actually pondering the possibilities. Um, in fact, it well, I I I won't even go there because I would be rambling on for another hour. Because I I would be rambling on about ideas regarding the nature of divinity, um, and the nature of the soul, and the nature of identity. But if somebody, for example, claims to be a demon, well, what what does that mean? And what does that say about your relationship to the divine? Do you believe that there is any anything is divine? Do you believe that everything is is divine? <coughs> and why? And what is your relationship to that? What is a demon? And what does a demon do? And what kind of demon are you? What and, and how do you relate to other demons if you do relate to other demons? <coughs> yeah, so, yeah, I, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's the long and the short. No, that is just the long of how I came to recognize my identity as a scorpion. And it's very unusual because I I do not feel the least bit disconnected with my own humanity when I am a scorpion. I feel more connected to my humanity, which is fantastic. I mean, as far as kin, other kin, I am in such a good place. Now, I may want to, say, move closer into the Therianthrope community, because therianthropes tend to be, um, ex or, excuse me, tend to be terrestrial beings, um, not hailing from mythology. Um, and I seem to fit more into that category. But then who knows? I could end up identifying as some kind of celestial from some other planet that is a scorpion. I mean, that would be pretty unusual. 
I don't think that that is the case. But I know there's more to the story. And I would like to understand my own associations more, which I did not really discuss. Um, and I would also, um, I would also like to figure out if there is, uh, any tie to this identity and how I feel, say, about different religious systems. And if there are any ties to this in my ancestry, in the cultures that I personally relate to. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, my identity is, I identify as a scorpion, a black scorpion. Um, I'm not sure of the species, but I know that it's black. I don't even know that it's venomous. I just, I don't know. Um, and, let's see, is that it? I think that's it. So, thanks very much for listening if you got this far and I do apologize for making it this long however it's I I mean I feel like I'm basically stealing the channel at this point um, but I really do appreciate it if you did get this far and if anything look I've been in the other kin community I've been awake to my kinness for if it's let's see it's 2012 now so I would say roughly 11 years. 11 years. And I just figured out what I am in, in the past, say, six months or so. And it took me being extremely sick. I mean, just re retardedly ridiculous, phenomenally sick with something that still went undiagnosed in order for me to get this far in order for internal barriers to come crashing down so if anything this should be a lesson in patience not only for me and I still lack patience <clears throat> but for you know everyone else uh, like the newly awakened especially you're probably not going to find what you really are in the course of a month and that's okay you, you, you don't have to um, now you can it's possible I will not say I will not discount it but it's not going to be too likely most people don't take as long as I have taken and there there is more that I that I must discover well maybe I'm maybe I don't have to but <laughs> there's more here so okay on that note again thank you very much for listening if you got this far and please don't think that you have to know what you are to participate in the kin community because you don't have to the only thing you really have to be is honest with yourself you don't even have to interact with the kin community if you don't want to all you have to do <coughs> is be yourself <coughs> excuse me because that is all that you actually <coughs> can be in the end you can never be somebody else in the end all you can be is to be yourself <coughs> And if I could step on the pulpit for a bit, um, you you probably have no idea how amazing you are. I mean, even the odds that that you would, you know, be formed inside your mother and be born are are pretty astronomical. I mean, and there's the only one of you that's ever going to be. I mean, that alone is pretty cool. And you can think of yourself as the universe trying to understand itself and interacting with itself through your angle as opposed to my angle or any other, anyone else's angle. I mean, just the idea of being 
self-aware enough to know th that you are somebody, I guess you could say. It, it, it's, it's really cool. And it's, I mean, you probably don't understand how amazing you are as you are and don't don't try to be like high and mighty and try and you know if you have if you if you meet people who who say claim to be angels for example that's great but that doesn't mean that you have to say be an angel or or just, I, just be you you don't have to be an elf or a wolf or anything it just all you have to be is to be you. And, you know, I, um, my, now, I, this is not the identity w that I would choose for myself. I, w I would choose something that, I would probably end up creating something. And it would, it would probably be like really high and mighty and powerful and, yeah, um, and it would probably just have tentacles and tentacles and wings, <laughs> you know, for shits and giggles. No, but what I finally found within myself, it's neat. It's not like it certainly wouldn't be my first choice, and it's not something that I would really, you know, think of. It's not my first thought or my inclination. Now, in retrospect, you know, I've always felt a tie with scorpions, but it's, but, you know, I've always felt a tie with wolves and a tie with spiders and with roly polies and with mosquitoes and flies and, um, lizards, definitely lizards. When I was, when I lived in Texas, I, there were these green lizards in my neighborhood that, I would let them just crawl all over me. They were content. I was content. It was great. Um, and just, I, I feel a tie to diseases. I don't, it's not like I want diseases. I don't want to get sick. Um, <clears throat> but I, I just feel a tie to diseases. And, you know, that is just, you know, because diseases are neat. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. They're neat. But yeah, I feel lots of... I feel a tie to quite a lot of things. And I feel a connection to, to a lot of things. Um, so it never would have occurred to me, Oh, well, scorpion. Yes, of course. You know. Because you know, I, I, I feel just as tied to like all kinds of stuff which is why I did in, in fact have a point that I thought that I was a wolf um, it was short lived but I believed it and I was sincere but you know humans and canines do have a very strong connection obviously dogs but yeah, but also also wolves now especially like say in Europe where the wolves are more aggressive, I mean, humans and wolves had have you know had a very adversarial relationship, so there's going to be a lot of respect for wolves. And um, like okay, with coyotes, um, there are places like in my neighborhood. There's there occasionally there a coyote will make an appearance and sometimes you know people's cats and shit get killed um or jackals um in Egypt um jackals uh hung around you know burial sites hung around hung around the dead and so you know naturally people made the association oh you know Jackals hanging around dead people, embalming Anubis. Yeah, kind of like um, one of the Morrigans. Now this is all the way up 
into the British Isles, um, the Morrigan, the, one of her forms is the raven, and of course ravens are carrion, they pick the bones of the dead clean. Um, so, yeah, um, so, I mean, human beings have a lot of ties to a lot of animals, we are close to a lot of animals, and so it seems to me that, yes, it makes sense that the first thing I would associate with and relate to is a wolf, is a canine. Um, and having lived with dogs, of course I'm going to have a connection to dogs. I mean, man's best friend. I mean, hello. Um, so, I mean, if I had grown up with cats, my first inclination might be, hey, I'm a cat. So anyway, so there you have it. Uh, why I th why I identify as a scorpion, um, and <laughs> yeah, um, I I can't think of any more uh, sage advice to give the newly awakened. Uh, thank you for listening to me ramble, and I uh, I hope that you got something out of this. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's all I can say. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, as I always say in my videos on my Libra Anarchy channel, Know thyself. <laughs>